Hello viewers, welcome to today's class. The topic of discussion is the legislature, right, which is an arm of the government. In our previous class, we did look at the arms of the national government. We said you have got three arms, which is the legislature, the judiciary, and also the executive. Now today, we will get to start with the legislature. We get to look at what is the legislature, what are some of the functions of the legislature, and the, compos uh, the composition of legislature. Welcome all and let us learn. As always, it is your tutor, Drojab Mishira. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to outline the composition of the National Assembly and also the composition of the Senate, right? Now, the legislature, we said earlier that this is the, 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 the law-making organ, right? The law-making arm of the government. And the, 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 the legislature has got two arms in it, right? the National Assembly, and also the Senate. Now, that is the legislature, well known, also, well known as the Parliament. That is our Kenyan Parliament. Now, the Kenyan Parliament has the National Assembly and also has the, 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 the Senate. We get to look at what is this National Assembly, what is this Senate. Now, that is how our, our, our Parliament looks like. That is our, our Kenyan Parliament. In there, we have the two houses, we have the two chambers, the National Assembly, and also the Senate. Now, class, can we get to look at uh, the structure of the legislature, right? Or the structure of parliament? One, we have the Senate. The Senate is also known as the upper house, right? The, the, the house of, uh, of, of, of senators. They also call it, they also call it uh, the house of Oazes, right? Right? The, the layman's language in the national in, in, in parliament, right, is the Senate, is the upper is the, is the upper house in parliament. Now the second house we have in the in the parliament is the national assembly, right. Now in the Senate is where we have the senators, right, and in the national assembly is where we have got the members of uh, of parliament representing the electorates from the constituency level. But the Senate, they are from the the the, the, the the, the, the counties, they represent counties, right? So we've got 47 elected uh, 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 senators. But, but we, get to look at, we get to look at the structure and composition of Senate and also the National Assembly. Now, as you can see that, that is the, the structure of Parliament. The upper house, which is the Senate, and the lower house, which is the National Assembly. Good? Can I get to look at the composition of the National Assembly? What does it comprise of? Right? Composition of the National Assembly. Now, class, we have 290 members of parliament. Right? We have 290, uh, 290 members of parliament who are elected from the constituency level. Right? Good. Then also, we have the 47 women representatives. These women representatives, they get to, re to represent the women agenda, right, in the National Assembly. And they are elected from the county level. 47 elected members, uh, women represented from, the, from each and every county. And, and remember, what, what they did here is just to make sure that they, they, they're trying to achieve the two-third gender rule. Then also, we have the 12 nominated members. These nominated members, they are the members who get to present uh, people with disability, right? People with a disability. For example, look at uh, this uh, member from... Uh, from Narok, Olesangok, right? He was appointed to represent uh, to represent people with dis uh, disability. Good. Then finally, we have the speaker who is an ex-official member. Now, class, that is the structure of uh, of the of the National Assembly, the composition of the National Assembly. We have said 290 elected members from the constituency level, right? Then you have got 47 women representatives from the county level. We have got 12 nominated members. These are people who get to represent uh, those in the society with disabilities, the youth and also disabilities. Then finally, we have the speaker who is an ex-official member. And we must get to know that class. The speaker is appointed, no, not the appointed, but the speaker is elected by the 290 members of parliament. They are those ones who vote. They are the ones who vote. So they get to elect the speaker uh, from the 290 members of parliament. Now class, can you get to look at the composition of, uh, 
of, uh, of, of the Senate. Good. Composition of the Senate. Let me get that structure. Good. Composition of uh, the Senate. Good class. So, first we have the 47 elected senators, right? These are members who are elected from the, uh, the county level. So we have 47 counties and each and every county gets to elect a senator to represent the views of the county in the upper house. Then also, we have uh, 16 nominated women, right? We have got 16 nominated women. Uh, and um, I, st I still don't understand why they're getting to elect more women in the Senate. Right? They should go for these competitive seats. But however, that is a way of uh, trying to achieve the two-third uh, two gender rule. Right? Now they have given 16 women, uh, 16 nominated women in the Senate. Then also we have got two youth representatives. They get to represent the views of the youth in the Senate. Then we have the two members to represent people with their disabilities. Right? These are people who get to represent those who have disabilities in the society, right? Then finally you have the speaker who is an ex-official member of the Senate. Now, class, that is the composition of the, of, of the Senate. We have said 47 elected uh, senators, 16 nominated women, two youth representatives, two, uh, two members to represent the people with disability, then finally the speaker who is an ex-official of the Senate. Now, class, that is the composition of the legislature, the upper house, and also the lower house. For our assignment class, can we get to describe the composition of the legislature for our reference, get to, uh, get to refer to the world, history and government. As always, the station you're watching is LMTV, your favorite learning